Rogermex Scan is the barcode scanning solution for SAP Business One. It delivers all the speed, accuracy and traceability of barcode scanning seamlessly integrated with SAP Business One. Project Scan delivers updates in real time, so your inventory records are as accurate as they possibly could be. It supports automation, ensuring that you always have the right level of stock in your warehouse. And Project Scan is suitable for companies of all sizes, scaling from one to many dozens of warehouse staff, managing tens of thousands of inventory transactions. In the following video, my colleague Harry demonstrates Project Scan using a visualization of a handheld device. The scenario starts with a purchase order being entered into SAP Business One for HANA. Then, once those goods arrive, they are receipted into stock. In our demonstration system, we can see the full range of SAP Business One transaction types on our handheld device. Access is controlled by user permissions. This means that the device could be set to only display functions appropriate for a person's role. Hello and welcome to this video on Progimax Scan and I'm going to jump into a purchase order. We're going to select our supplier, it will be Forest Imports. We're then going to go ahead and select the products that we're going to be buying, which is going to be the Rainbow 9696 and it's going to be one of these. You can see that this is document number 912 and the status of this document is open. So I'm going to go ahead and add and view that to the system. Now coming back into Project Scan then, the way that we log into this is uh, using our terminal logins. You can see that this is relating to a user, which is me, and it's also connected to our SAP Business One database. Licenses are based on concurrent licenses. Fantastic. So when we log in, we can see all of the actions on this handheld device that we can do. So we can either manage a goods receipt from that per production order, uh, sorry, purchase order that I've just put onto the system. Alternatively, we can receive goods should that not be attached. We can also see a number of functions from production, issue and receiving from production. What we'd expect to see from moving maybe sales orders through to our picking and packing in the warehouse. Any sort of stock transfer, that might be from any bin locations, it might be from um, a warehouse to a different warehouse within the same company. And then we've also got some inventory transactions, maybe we're issuing goods and so on. And what's really nice as well is that we can have within SAP Business One, the attached GL account. So if we're issuing goods for marketing or samples, then those cost accounts could be correctly attributed to the, uh, the reason why we're issuing those in the first place. So what we're going to do from this point is we're going to receipt this good in from our production order, our purchase order, sorry, keep mixing those up. We can either reload the screen and pull in a full list of all of the purchase orders I have within SAP Business One that are open and ready to take. Alternatively, if I know the document number as I do, I can go ahead and find that within the system. What this does is this brings me up a bit of an overview around the document number, who I'm expecting to receive this on and at what date. Most importantly, what number of products we're looking to receive in. You can see that I've received zero of one so far, but this might be 10 or so. It's worth saying as well that within the remarks, if this was to say um, that this is going to be a split, um, a split uh, batch or split order, um, then we could receive in five of 10 at this stage as well. So I'm going to go ahead and move into this document. And I'm going to receive. We can see that we're receiving this into warehouse number one, and I'm going to go ahead and put in the quantity of one. At this point, this now moves us through into our serial number. So this moves us through to either serial number or a batch number managed screen, should this product be serial or batch managed. This can be inputted manually, or we can create a logic to make up a number for each of these received. So I'm gonna put in the document number, um, and at that point I could either print a, any label, or any documents I might need at this stage. If we do have batch numbers that are provided from the suppliers, this can also be used. Excellent, so here we can see that we've greenlit our one of one, 
into warehouse number one. And here we can see that we have now created that as one of one coming into one. And as I said before, if this is uh, split batches, this can be managed at this point, should we only receive a percentage of that full order. I'm then going to go ahead and post this. It's given me a quick overview just to say this is uh, purchase order 921 from Far East Imports. It's due on this date. We receive one of one and any marks will be correct. So if we had made any mistakes at this point, maybe we've uh, inputted a number incorrectly, um, then that can be managed and uh, reflected on here as well. And I'm going to go ahead and post that to my SAP Business One system. So now you can see this is correctly posted it through. And it's been sent through to SAP Business One. So if I now have a quick look at SAP Business One, I'll refresh the purchase order that I've just been in. And here you can see it's now grayed out. You can see that this is a closed document because this has now been receipted in and no more action is required from this document. Fantastic. So the look and feel and the workflow would be exactly the same if this was to be a stock transfer, picking up these products, even having a look at the full list of all of what's available to us. Um, in the open items list, or maybe a receipt from production as well. And if the warehouse is good, uh, what the warehouse these goods are being received into is bin managed, then these bin locations that it is in um, to be well, to be received into can be shown within Projemex Scan uh, and to these users in our warehouse. So as I say, the same process of initiating the operations within Business One from managers and from uh, department heads and releasing these actions to Project Scan for processing from our workers and the operators in the, on the uh, warehouse floor. Um, that is the same process as goes ahead. Should that be a pick? Should that be a goods receipt? And so on. Thank you for watching this short introduction to Project Scan. There is so much more to SAP Business One, and I recommend that you get in touch to have your questions answered. To take the next step, click on the chat button at the foot of this page, email us at info at lake.co.uk or call now on 0113 273 7788. Thank you.